Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima Underworld 2! And when last we left off, we most certainly didn't cast Armageddon and thus kill everyone. Because that would be silly. What would we gain from that, eh, folks? Let's go! We now have to start thinking about the end game preparations here. The first thing we need to do for that is we need to use this gem. The gem shakes and recolors, begins to flash. We've pretty much uh, got to near the end point of the game. The first thing we need to do is we need to visit... This is not the Pits of Carnage. This is the Tomb of Praecor Loth. We need to find the uh, Pits of Carnage. Because the Pits of Carnage are where we're going to need to go to... Uh... Nope, this is actually... Uh... The, we've got the ones that are actually um, either side of the Pit of Carnage, but not actually the Pit of Carnage one. Is this it? Nope, this is the exact same one. It's kind of a bit difficult now to uh, have a look and see the various um, location we need to go to. I think it's this one? It might be this one? Let's have a look. Is it this one? Nope, we just need to wait for this bat to get out of the way. Excuse me, bat, I really need you to get out of the way. Thank you. Nope, that indeed is the Tomb of Praecor Loth again. I'm terrible at picking the correct location, so it has to be this one. Yes! Excellent! We got there in the end. We now need to very quickly head up north here. We don't really have anything to worry about concerning the actual um, location itself. We need to go here and talk to Zoranthus, because Zoranthus is the one who's going to give us the... Uh, Basically, the way to um, get this Jin. We're going to need to use this uh, elemental to uh, basically use the Horn of Praecor Loth, because that is what we're going to use to destroy the um, Black Rock Dome around the castle. It's a very long winded process of basically collecting a few items. It's what this whole game pretty much is. You do all of this to collect a select few items. I mean, you need, what, the horn? You need the, um, you do need all the gems, though. That is one of the things you do need to do, but that's sort of along the way. You use the gems as, um, you progress. You use the staff as you progress, and then pretty much you need the potion of basilisk's oil, and, um, a few other random items. One of them being the horn of Praco Loth. The other one being a, uh, Potion of Iron Flesh, or the spell of Iron Flesh. You can use the spell as well. And we're pretty, uh. Oh, hang on. Just, uh, this being a little awkward there to get past. It did that before, as I recall. I'm just gonna wait here for this to reappear. Wait for it. Should reappear at some point. There we go. Careful. And there we go. We basically need to very briefly talk to Zoranthus here. I'm pretty sure I know what I need to do concerning getting the um, whole thing uh, ready. We accidentally actually encountered the place where we're going to do the uh, Binding of the Elemental when we were uh, looking for the uh, Zoranite Wisp. So let's uh, press one button to solve this puzzle. I like this puzzle. This puzzle is pretty good. Also, the music is pretty triumphant considering what we're... Uh, what we're doing. It's almost as if the game knows we're very near the end. And we are very near the end. Okay. Here we go. Hello, Saranthus. How are you? I have a thing, and it is yours. Hast thou found the scepter I need? Aye, here it is. Excellent. Now I will help thee as well. Here, take this bottle. It contains within it the elemental. Take great care in preserving it. The manufacture of a gin bottle is no trivial task. I thank thee. May we both meet with success. We do not actually need anything else from Zoranthus. Zoranthus is now an NPC with no use to us. So, we shall now leave. As you can see there, I got the uh, potion of basilisk soil out of my inventory. I've actually been holding on to one of those ever since I first encountered one. Admittedly, I encountered one pretty late. I think there are earlier opportunities to get one. There we go. I imagine if you just actually started using these buttons here, it would be a much more difficult puzzle. What we want to do is we want to head this way. And basically, once we get to uh, the bridge, just drop off like this. 
We'll take practically no damage, and we have the Ring of Regeneration to basically uh, make up for all the uh, health that we would lose. So, let's get out of here. And I think the exit is indeed this way. Excellent. And now we want to go this way. And out! And we're never going to be visiting the Pits of Carnage ever again! We could, I suppose, do some fights and, uh... Is that the guard getting in the way, or is that a bit of... That's actually the thing that was a bit of scenery getting in the way. And again, there we go. But, um... We could do some fights and gain some more experience, but there's really not actually a lot of point. We're pretty much ready for, uh... What's to come. We only actually need to cast, I think, one more spell in the whole game. Apart from, you know, the occasional healing spell that we may need to cast. Right. Now, we actually want to find a much earlier world. We need to go to the Ice Caverns. We need to go to the Ice Caverns because we need to find the Felanium Mudflats. And we need to uh, use the Potion of Basilisk Oil on it. Is it this one? No, we're a few worlds out. I think it's... is it this one? It might be this one. Nope! One world out this time! I wish they'd actually be marked. That would make it a little easier to navigate this. Is it this one? No, that's, uh, that's Talaris. We don't want to be in Talaris. And I think that's, uh, one world out as well. What about this one? Aha! Here we go! The right place. What we want to do now is we want to go down the stairs there. I'm pretty sure we can get there pretty easily. There we go. I remember at this point when we got here, the Yetis were basically absolutely no problem. I really like the fact that we'd already got powerful enough that the Yetis were just not an issue. And we want to go, I think, this way. And through here. There we go. That'll bring us to the second uh, level here. It's very precise what you need to do. And actually learning where you need to go to do these things. I think I've actually marked the area on my map that I need to go to. Uh, I think it was over here. Pretty sure, in fact, it was over here. Let's have a look. Did I mark it anywhere else? Nope. Pretty sure that's the location we want to go to. It's going to take a little bit of travelling to get there, but I'm pretty confident that we can get there. It's very important we do. Okay. South we go. And I think if we head too far south here, we're just going to encounter the area with all the uh, slippery floor. Is it uh, here we want to go to? Okay, that is the area with the uh, very, very slippery floor. Do I want... I want Water Walk cast at this point, actually. I really want Water Walk ready. It's going to be one of those things where if I don't have it prepared, I'm basically going to uh, regret it. So where's Water Walk? It is there, and it is there. There we go. And we probably also want Jump prepared, which is this one and this one. There we go. We'll just uh, do that, and... There we go! One jump, and admittedly we went up a little too far, but that's alright. No problem there whatsoever. Problem here, though. We sort of want to navigate this. If we angle ourselves probably just right, though, we should probably be able to just slide all the way... Oh, careful. Having the uh, ability to jump really far actually is quite useful at this point. Well, we're just going to have to very slowly slide along. Better to slowly slide along and uh, actually get somewhere than not. We want to go this way, I think. I believe here should be the Felanium Mudflats. And we have the item we need for them, too. Where are they? Are they over here? Yes, here they are. There you go. Ooh. We just look at these here. You see, watery mud. This is what we actually want to uh, use the uh, basilisk oil on. So we actually just want to uh, throw it in. The thick oil permeates the mud. The oily mud coats your skin. 
That is basically what we came here to do. We came here to have that happen. Now we need to make our way all the way back. Which, uh... Oop. Careful. Which isn't actually as hard as you'd think, but we need to be careful. We just need to... Oh, we need to stop moving like that. There we go. That's better. Oh, we're actually moving at a fair pace, but we need to head out of the ice caverns right now. Most certainly we need to head out. A little bit this way. It may be slow, but it will at least mean that we get there. Also, uh, the jump spell has failed, but we have more than enough magic to uh, cast it again if we need to. There we go. Nearly there. This indeed is the end game preparation. So now we've took a uh, swim in the Felanium mud. So our armor is now basically coated in it. What we need to do is we need to cast the jump spell again. And jump up. There we go. And slowly slide over this way. We're also going to need the flame proof spell pretty soon as well. We need basically a lot of spells. I'm pretty sure, however, that um, resting doesn't stop the um, ability to um, for all this stuff to be uh, basically coating you from uh, being there. I think it actually persists between resting. So where do we want to go? We want to head this way. Okay, let's head this way. Oh. We could talk to Mokbo, but uh, at this point we don't need to. Go. Somebody did actually mention that if you uh, say you'll go get some of the plants for him and then you don't actually go get the plants for him, uh, he starts questioning if you should actually start using them, which uh, isn't, um, which is pretty good actually. It's very good. I'm about to say it, uh, it isn't what I actually expected would happen, but uh, it's a good thing that that does if you um, basically go and get some and uh, don't just hand them to him straight away. So, let's uh, head out of here. We've done the thing we need to here. Now we need to head to basically anywhere which has um, lava. Kilorn Keep has lava. This doesn't have lava. This is the one place that doesn't have lava. Pretty sure this place has no lava whatsoever. This place also has no lava. I'm picking one of the few places that has zero lava. What about here? Nope, oh, same place. There really needs to, uh, there's probably a very easy method of uh, determining which world you're going to, and I'm just terrible at finding them. Here we go, this place has lava. This place has lava in the basement. And we're going to go and, uh, go and get that lava. We need to, uh, basically have the lava interact with the Felanium mud. Excuse me, I'm just trying to pass guard. Nope. Apparently you wish not to let me pass. Well, I'm going to pass anyway. Okay, down we go. Into the basement, where we are not going to kill the flying brain creatures. That would be silly. We don't even need to be in the lava for that long, actually, if memory serves. But we'll save just in case. I might not even need to use um, flame proof. Let's have a look. The oily mud bakes on your skin. There we go, that's literally all you need to do. Now we need to head over to the, um, now we need to go to the Ethereal Void. The Ethereal Void is where the next part of this uh, actually takes place. There we go. Also, as I was saying before, the preparations for this, you can pretty much do all this without having any magic um, casting skill whatsoever, because you can get potions of um, iron's flesh. You can also get, um, the potion to Basilisk Goyal are, after all, a potion. The guard is once again in the way. I wish the game had a capability for you to ask people to move aside, but it doesn't. There we go. We need to find the way out. I think it's in this corner. There we go. Oh, and the orb has died. We should probably actually get that repaired. Actually, we... Yeah, we should probably get that repaired right now. It seems like a good idea. Let's get that fixed up. We still need light, after all. There we go. That is now ready to go. 
So now we want to go to the Ethereal Void. Let's uh, head there, shall we? A little bit of uh, saving, and we'll move on. I just need to find the right actual area. That's Talarus. Not quite what I was looking for. There are a few worlds uh, between Talarus and the Ethereal Void. Actually getting to the um, location we need to is not that hard, though. This is a bit of carnage. We're a few worlds out there. Just head a little further around. Might say... here? Is here where we want? Yes! Here is where we want. What we actually want to do at this point is we want to go into any of these uh, areas. Doesn't matter which one we go to. In fact, let's go to the uh, one we've been to before that's pretty easy to navigate, and that is the uh, blue gate here. There we go. Did I actually go into the right gate here? I'm not sure we did. Let's uh, move on and be careful about it. Oh, there's another fire elemental there, and a brain creature that's going to attack us. No thanks. Need to get away from that. There we go, we're now here. That's where we actually want to go. We're most certainly going to need to do some resting, though, before we, uh... Oh, careful. There we go. Most certainly going to need to do some resting before we get to, uh, do the next part of this. Okay, where do we want to go? We want to go this way. And basically bounce our way up, like we did before when we were talking to the Wisp. There we go. And in we go. Excellent. We want to go through that moon gate there. Actually, I think at this point we might actually... Why have I got this active? There's not really much point. Also, we are fed. Let's rest. But we are currently hungry. We can probably solve that before we move on. It seems like an idea. There we go. That'll probably actually do. That will probably do, actually. There we go. Did that in fact do? Let's have a look. Yep, we are now fed. We want to actually go through here and find a fair few of these uh, grey portals, the moon gates, so that eventually we get to here. There we go. Now we are here. Remember what Xeranthus told us about how to uh, do this? There's still a few more steps. One step we need to do is we need to cast a spell that we have not yet cast on ourselves for the whole game, and that is Iron Flesh. And it uses this rune, this rune, and this rune. Oh. The baked mud hardens into a clear glaze. We are very, very nearly done here. Now we just need to save, and uh, put this down in the pentagram. There we go. I don't know if that's actually classed as being in. There we go. Let's actually uh, put it a little further, say, look down here, and put it, say... Does that count? I imagine it does. Let's see if it does, shall we? What we need to do... Oh, that actually pushes it. We need to be very careful about it. We can actually push it into the middle, then. Seems like a plan. Let's do so. A little more. That'll do. We need to hit it now. The only way to uh, release this is to actually attack it. Nearly. The air demon is absorbed into your body and remains there, a faint but detectable presence awaiting release. We have done what we needed to here. We have bound the air demon to us. And it is the air demon that will be uh, using the horn of Praecor Loth rather than us, because we, we aren't able to do it. What we need to do now is we need to find the, uh, that's the red path there. Heading up here should probably get us closer to one of the places we've been to before. Let's have a look. We need to find an area that we have seen already. We also need to, uh, make sure we're not looking down all the time. Ah, we've been here before. We've most certainly been here before. So, if we now go this way... Aha! This is the way out! Let's actually go and, uh, basically see if we've done everything we need to now. We probably want to go and talk to Miranda. Okay. Oh! 
It would seem we are not alone. Well, MG told us to just scout around for the first wave, but I reckon I'm gonna be the first in my squadron to rack up a kill in the Britannian operation. Uh-oh. It would seem these people are basically, uh, here to come and kill us. Remember when uh, we were told that there was an operation going on from Killorn Keep? It was to here. Indeed, it was to here. Also, we have the Iron Flesh uh, spell currently on us, so these enemies are not going to be doing anything. You can just hear their attacks ineffectually hitting us. Yeah, we've pretty much dealt with these enemies. Two down. Ah, there's one more, I see. There might in fact be two more. You are all going to perish, because you currently face the Avatar. And the Avatar is pretty good at this by now. Hello? Yeah, you're not going to be racking up any kills in the Britannian operation. The only kills that are being racked up right now is Shana. Basically killing all of you. Haha. <laughs> Victory! Let's uh, head back up with the lights on. Because we most certainly want to uh, ensure that we don't have that happen again. This is a bad sign. They are now preparing for an attack, an invasion, so to speak, of Britannia. We may, in fact, be too late. Let's hope we're not. So, when we come back, folks. We're going to go and uh, talk to Miranda and everyone up in the castle and see if we can come up with a solution to what's going on because we're still not out of this yet. We're getting pretty close, but we're still not, um, we still haven't won, but nearly, nearly. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.